Why did the Mughals put a beautiful mosque literally inside a box in the Red Fort? Hi, I'm Swapna Little and I'm going to tell you the story of the Moti Masjid. Why was this beautiful marble structure put within enclosing walls out of sight? In the middle of the 17th century, Shah Jahan was on the throne of the Mughal Empire. He ruled from Agra just as his father Jahangir and his grandfather Akbar had done before him. Shah Jahan was passionately fond of building. He had constructed many new buildings in his fort in Agra. He had also started work in 1632 on the Taj Mahal, a large and exquisite tomb for his beloved wife Mumtaz Mahal. But his highest ambition as a great builder was fulfilled with the founding of a new capital city in Delhi, which he named after himself, Shah Jahanabad. The city, which was inaugurated in 1648 and which we call Old Delhi now, was enclosed within a city wall. It had large gardens, broad streets, rich bazaars and a large palace complex which we today call the Red Fort. The Mughals had always been a bit obsessive about symmetry in whatever they built. Be it buildings or gardens. We can see this, for instance, in the Taj Mahal. The walkways and water channels in the garden are laid out symmetrically. Even the tomb is flanked by two symmetrically placed buildings, a mosque on one side, that had to be balanced by a perfectly placed mehman khana or guest house. These ideas of symmetry were followed closely in the planning of Shah Jahanabad as well. So, for instance, the main street of the city was perfectly aligned to the main street inside the Red Fort. Inside the fort, many important buildings were laid out in a straight line. The main gateway led to a drum house, which was a sort of a reception area. And this led to the main court of audience, the Diwane Aam. And immediately behind this was the main palace of the emperor, called Imtiaz Mahal. At right angles to this line, many of the important palace buildings were laid out in another straight line. The problem arose when Shah Jahan's son and successor Aurangzeb decided to build a mosque close to the junction of these two lines. This was a beautiful building covered in white marble and therefore is called Moti Masjid or Pearl Mosque. Like all mosques, its orientation needed to be very precise. The prayer wall had to be aligned to Mecca in the west. But this would put it out of alignment with the rest of the buildings here. The royal builders found an innovative way out of this difficulty. They put the mosque building within an enclosing rectangle whose walls were exactly aligned to the buildings outside, while the mosque inside was properly aligned to Mecca. This curious fact is not mentioned in any history books, which usually rely on old documents to tell them about history. But sometimes we just have to let the buildings themselves tell us their secrets. <laughs>